Hello, welcome to another review. Um, this is gonna be an intro review, which means that you won't be able to see most of the game, and there will be no cuts, just from the start to the end. And uh, hope you enjoy it. So in Room Factory 3, you can see here the clear version. The graphics haven't improved a lot, but it did improve. Did improve, I mean, and because you can see there's more detail in the grass, there's more everything, and the character models do look a bit better with more uh, detail. And the old N64 faction thingy, just you know. It looks better. And also, right now, the graphics of the animations, like the old lady has more detail than ever than the old ones. And I think it looks better. For the story, is that you, a human that can turn into monster, getting uh, you know just falling down from the sky to here and this girl named Sarah takes you in and helps you so <coughs> you turn back into a human and you're like huh where am I what the heck what's this place called I don't know and so you have to go around and doing stuff the main goal of this game is like a farming game with a battling. The epicness of this game is 9 out of 10. The battle has been upgraded 10 times from Rune Factory 2. And also, the bulletin board is now, there's like a lot of quests. And now you can, it's just everything from the start. And this quiet girl's name is Raven. Sorry to spoil that, but... Raven's awesome. Now, for the presentation, as you can see here, just like the graphics, it's presented nicely with two people talking. But then it gets kind of sometimes confusing when there's this the guy talking and the guy talking say you talking to another guy and you didn't have a name it would be the guy and then the guy so you don't know who's talking to yeah and if there's one girl talking to another girl and you don't know their names or it's their, so yeah um the updates from room factory 2's are the controls are refined the battle mechanics are refined the bulletin board is refined and there's a bigger city overall more stuff to do and uh, as far as the gameplay it's fluid and just very 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 nice so yeah so the character's main name is Mikaya I'm gonna name it no 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 cancel what the And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, it, it's not an in-depth review, but you can see that it's a lot better than Rune Factory 2. If you haven't played Rune Factory 2, here's something about it, okay? First, it's that you can do a lot more stuff. 
the layout of this game is improved. The story is improved. Well, not really, but it's like the, the graphics has improved. Overall, this game is definitely worth the 30 bucks it's asking for. And also, I rate it at 9.5 out of 10. Because Rune Factory 2 was a 9 out of 10. And it was fantastic. This game, there's tons more monsters in the forests. A ton of more weapons. It's You can forge in like 6 hours into the game. But you do need walkthroughs. And it will post it in the description because if you don't know how to walkthroughs, you would just be farming, farming all day until you get bored of the game. And you, you don't even know how to marry people because they don't tell you. I'm very late on forging in this game and I'm kind of pissed because, well, I didn't know that you had to go to this place and defeat this boss to do that, so. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, more is coming up soon. Oh, and before you go, I'll show you around. Uh, I guess I should follow her. So I'll show you the controls. It's pretty good. You can press like stuff to, you know, like. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Sorry that I can't let you see the battle mechanics. And as you can see here, the graphics has improved a lot. And now there's these door you can open and do stuff. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and later.